Hey. Hey, man. Like the video. Hit the like. Hit the comment. Hit the subscribe. Do something. But show some support, man. Show some love, man. It's crazy what's going on right now. Back a few months ago, everybody was under the suspicion that um, Remy was cheating on Pat with the battle rapper Easy the Block Captain. Everybody hit the Twitters and start hitting the Instagrams and the comments and then people start putting their own, you know, doing their own signs, doing their own math, putting their two and two together. A lot of people came to the conclusion that Remy was sleeping with the battle rapper Easy the Block Captain. However, what does that say for Remy and Pat Poops? The nigga held her down for six years, man. You know, when she was locked up, he was doing his, you know, showing her how much he loved her, you know, holding her down, campaigning, rooting, cheering, celebration, you know, being on the front line for her. They got a family together. They married, all type of shit. They was like the advocates, you know, almost the face for black love type of thing. So when people start doing their own research and shit, they found out there's a lot been going on. Now, allegedly, I don't know that previous to this whole thing. They had an event in Queens. Pat Poos, spot easy to block captain. Find out him and him and Remy was being a little too close. So allegedly put the pause and beats on. It stemmed from there. If Pat Poos did beat up easy to block captain, I think it was warranted at this point. It's been a lot happening as far as that whole situation goes. And for the people that that, that watch Battle Rap or whatever and you watch the the recent Chrome 23 event, Pat Poos is not at this one, but he was at all the other ones. He didn't miss one. Now he, he 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 magically not at this event, right? Now this is easy to block captain versus Geechee Gotti. The battle goes down third round. Geechee completely goes off. He even had a whole segment for Rim. He's talking straight to Remy at this point. He basically through all of everything that everybody heard from the fight, from her cheating, um, from her taking the nigga easy side, blah, blah, blah. Geechee gave her a good <clears throat> maybe 16, 24 bars strictly directly towards her, seeing what kind of what kind of cornball she was for messing with the nigga easy to block captain. Now, however, I do agree. Pat held you down. This nigga Pat was in your corner. He did anything for you while you had to go do that bid. You make it seem like you love him so much. He the best one, blah, blah, blah. But then... You turn around and sleep with the low grade competition. You know what I mean, that's look who Pat Poos is, and then look at Easy to Block Captain, bro. He called himself the Algorithm Boy. That's that's by far the, one of the corniest things you could ever call yourself. Like you, I, anyway, you could just tell he's a corny person. His narratives, the way he carry himself, the way he talk about other people, the way he try to belittle everybody to put himself on a pedestal, just shows you a lot about what's going on as far as. His character. Easy had a little line in there. It was like some shit about nigga won't do something to him about a chick or something because he still got the female or some shit, you know. I'm, I'm not going to post it here because, you know, obviously it's not my footage, it's not my audio. But it's all over the media. It's all over the internet. It's all over YouTube. It's all over Instagram. You can literally just type in Geechee Gotti goes off on Remy Ma or Geechee Gotti versus Remy Ma. I'm sure it'll pop up even that way because he literally was battling her for a portion of that third round. It do seem like Remy got a type though. It seemed like the, the rappers that look like they could sell oil and CDs and shit would be Remy type. Now, <laughs> I find it corny. I actually was rooting for um Remy and Pat because it, it was a long time before we seen you know, people that advocated for black love the way that them two did, you know. It was actually a good look for him. You know, he actually seemed happy. He always speak the highest of her, you feel me? He always placed her on pedestals that that most people should want to be placed on as a person. It doesn't matter whether it's your, 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 your spouse or somebody else doing it. He placed her amongst the highest. And him being paid back is her sleeping with a battle rapper that she managed footage after the battle you know behind the scenes remember me and, and, and easy was really close like you could tell he was getting ready to embrace her in a way that wasn't nobody really expecting and then she was gonna accept it but then she peeped out the corner of her eye oh, that hold up it's a camera she literally points at the cameraman 
says something to him and points at the cameraman. I guess it was don't take it too far. I don't know what the what that was about. But during this segment when Geechee was going off on her, remember Kevin Hart with the you gotta stand there with the IE ass face? She literally had the IE ass face. Like she ain't know what to do. She knew Geechee was on her ass. She knew that the crowd was like, finally, we know what's going on. Geechee exposed her. You could tell it was a lot of NBA action. Cause after the fight previous to this battle. They say easy to block out and the eye was swole, lip was bust. He usually go live talking shit all the time. He wouldn't go live for a month. And he get up there, so nobody did nothing to him and nothing happened to him. There's clips of the interview of him explaining himself on my page. There's also a short on my page showing a bunch of tweets and receipts and all type of nonsense. This was pre prior to this. Now that this has come out, it don't seem like Remy is hiding how she feel anymore. It's like she's secretly warming everybody up to the possibility of her and easy the block captain being a thing. I don't think Papoose deserved that. But they say Pat moved on. The thorn they split. They say Pat Papoose dating some um twenty five year old rapper. <laughs> Probably gonna be somebody like Ice Spice or something. I mean, you know, who knows? Um. If this what they situation is, then so be it. I mean, of course, we all outsiders looking at willpower that people have. We sometimes vote for and root for people that we don't even know. What we seeing right now, um, no matter how hard you go for a person, no matter how hard you hold a person down, sometimes the motherfuckers slip through the crack and they be like, fuck you. I hope it was a, a mutual thing where they decided to part ways and do it whatever they was going to do. But the fact that Remy decided to sleep and cheat with one of her artists, the, the, the ones that she managing, nobody's safe, bro. <laughs> nobody's safe, man. Um, There's a lot going on. I want to know what y'all think down in the comments. You know, this, this is still unfolding. It didn't get swept under the rug, but it was like, it died down kind of quick. You get what I'm saying? But now it's just like back at the peak. It's back at its height. And I'm going I'm to post the short that I, I made in here to show y'all some of the receipts, too. It's just a lot to unpack. Um, shout out Papoose, man. Shout out Geechee Gotti. <laughs> shout out Geechee Gotti. I hope him and Remy do get the battle, too. Yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell, get notified. Let's take this ride, man.